Hey everybody, it's Party Leet. Welcome back to the Golden Dawn, led by Bahadur. War has erupted. Ali Pavar the Destroyer was deemed far too dangerous to be left alive in this realm. And so, the Altar of Destruction must itself be destroyed. Our first moves have seen some good fortune for us, but good fortune will be followed by tremendously bad. Our two stacks over here are in a great deal of trouble. This tiny little stack has so much strength in it that our two near full stacks are going to just crumble in front of them. So I'm a little nervous about the situation over here. Previously, I was talking about falling back, getting away from this guy's reach, because we could do that. But then it occurred to me, hang on a second, all these armies that were down here are making their way up here. And uh, right now, they might be close enough such that we're sandwiched. And we might be screwed either way. Not loving it. Not loving it at all. So first things first, we're going to send our scout to, well, scout. Take a bit of a chance over here, but if we can gather some extremely important intel right now, I'll be very pleased. So let's send you up over here, buddy. Oh my goodness. It's scary every time. It's scary every time. So yeah, you can get all the way up to here. You can get all the way up to there, and you can get all the way up to here. <laughs> okay. So retreating means, like, falling into their maws, right? So we, 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 we can't retreat. I think we have to kind of double down and just hit this army and hope for the best. Maybe we can sneak past it if we're lucky. Maybe. Maybe. Alright, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. These guys are ready to move in. What I could try and do is bait these guys up there if I'm lucky. Right? If I stay behind the farm, I should be okay for the most part. This guy can get a lot further along. Jeez. The Sunderers move real fast, eh? Yeah, look at this one. Holy crap. Alright, but overall, I think if I stay behind the farm or on the farm, I should be okay. I should be fine. Alright, so let's get uh, you up to here. Let's get you over to here, and let's get you over to here, sure. And I'm not going to pillage the farm. That's not very fitting of uh, a dragon of order. Not in my eyes, at least. No pillaging. As much as I could use that gold, we do not pillage. Up over here, this pupper is good to stay. These guys have already moved, I believe. Orders required over here. You're staying put. Thank you. You. All right. The decision that I've been uh, procrastinating on. Uh, I think we need to do a couple of things over here. First of all, let's get you and you and you out over here. Then let's get you and you and you out over here. Making a stand, I guess. Uh, you are going to join forces with this stack. Sure, lots of fledgling in this army now. And, uh... Could creep a bit further up, actually. Hmm. Sure, let's creep up over here. And let's go ahead and use our army heal spell to heal these guys. Right? They're pretty badly damaged. Doesn't heal them fully, but... Top some of them up, at least. Apart from that... We've got Burden of Guilt. We could drop that once more onto you. Oh, you know what, actually? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Yeah, that would be huge. That would allow us to get away. Because with Burden of Guilt, your movement range would be reduced, and you might actually not be able to hit us even though we're moving up in this direction. Let's try it. All right, Burden of Guilt. Let's go. Beautiful. That was the plan all along. So I claim. No, that, that worked out lovely. That worked out lovely. So we should actually be able to get out of here. Uh, pull up to uh, Dondell and perhaps reinforce a little bit. Or perhaps not. Kind of expensive to recruit some uh, additional Daylight Spears. I need more Daylight Spears. They're so effective, especially when Awakened. They do so much work. I need more of them. Now, to be fair, our Dusk Hunters, when Awakened, can do a fair bit of work as well. Because, again, when they shoot bow, it's for each attack, uh, for, for each action point there is an attack. But, when Awakened, plus one range and plus 20% accuracy. That's not bad. That's not bad, right? However, I think I'd rather save up and secure some Daylight Spears. Very slowly. What if I go ahead and recruit them at sunrise? How long does it take down over here? Two turns. Still 100 gold, of course, but two turns. So two turns you're recruited and you make your way over, like, let's say this way or maybe up over here. And we form up over here. It'll take you, what, three turns? Maybe five turns to get over here. Whereas up over here, it'll take five turns just to recruit. So maybe we do that instead. Sure. Sure, Dondell needs some help. It needs to improve its draft, but we can't invest money in construction right now. We have to focus on uh, improving our military capabilities. All right. This has worked out nicely. 
This will hopefully not have been a mistake. Orders required. You're staying put, buddy. Sunrise produced the Inquisitor. Yep, sounds good. We got our Chaplain down here as well. Dondel, Brilliantium, and Sunrise are waiting. A hero leveled up. Ah, yes. Aliqua, what to do with you? And we've got a signature skill available as well. Hmm. All right. Let's start with our uh, options down here. Kind of tempted, if I'm perfectly honest, to go for, like, revitalize? Or do I go for... I mean, revitalize is huge. Two stacks of regeneration is no joke, right? Because regen is uh, six temporary hit points at the end of its turn times two, 12, right? Not a lot. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it does accumulate. Uh, alternatively, I could go for Shepherd, considering how many uh, how many fledglings you have right now. Actually, you know what? Maybe that's not a bad idea. Reduced unit upkeep, so we'll make some more uh, mana per turn. Plus two defense, plus one resistance. Maybe try and keep them alive a bit better. Huh. Sure. Let's go with let's go with Shepherd. Taking a chance there, I think. Confirm that. Got to keep that in mind when we're actually establishing her final army, I guess. But let's also take a look at the signature skills here. We've got Mana Unchained. Friendly units in a one hex radius gain three Star Blades. Two Strengthened. Star Blades is no joke. That's a fair bit of damage output. And Strengthened is nice as well, of course. Demon Step. Unit teleports to target hex and deals damage to adjacent units. We're familiar with this one from our other campaign as well. Frostfire Detonation. Oh, hello. Deals damage to target unit, then deals 30% damage to all units in a two hex radius. Good range on that. Very good range on that, actually. Virulent Outbreak. Enemy units in a 2-hex radius have a base 90% chance of becoming diseased and separately poisoned. Then we've got Restoration, which is probably the one we're going to go with because it's uh, an order pick, right? And uh, Taliqua is very much an order hero. This gives us uh, plus 40 temporary hit points and dispelling negative status effects on a target-friendly unit. But if that target from the unit is dead, then it can be revived with 60% of its total hit points. That could be huge. That could actually be really huge given the right target, you know? Given the right target-friendly unit, bringing it back to life could be a big uh, game-changer. And Draining Blade deals damage to target enemy and heals you the same amount as the damage dealt. Let's go ahead and pick Restoration. Confirm that. And hopefully remember to actually use it on the battlefield. With this done, I believe we have some spells ready to launch. Let's go ahead and queue up another burden of guilt as much as i would like army healing being able to slow the enemy down is big damaging them is one thing because uh just want to point out that these guys actually have if i recall correctly natural regeneration so like these guys will be fine uh, but the other people in the army won't be the more we hit them more importantly though slowing them down i mean you can see how much of a difference it can make when we need to make a quick getaway and and reinforce right so let's get that going Otherwise, Alapavar has returned. I thought... Ah, no. Alapavar has withdrawn. We did that. We did that. Good stuff. Received a trade proposal. What do you got for me? Bangir wants a province claiming pact. I don't think so, buddy. No, not a chance. He wants this so he can expand right now into my territory while I'm preoccupied elsewhere and I can't take advantage of this pact. So, no, I'm going to have to decline this. Thanks for asking, though, I guess. And a province is being pillaged. Oh, that's this. Yes, of course. Thank you. Thanks for the reminder. We're good. Let's keep our eyes on the situation down over here and pray that the scout doesn't get picked out, even though we've kind of put him in a terrible position. Let's see what the AI does. What do you got for me? Fangir, what are you up to? Can you can you get involved over here, please? Ooh, hello. Okay. That's promising. But let's uh, keep our eyes on the prize over here. Don't want to get too excited. I don't want to get... Too excited about what might be happening down there. I'm also a little concerned about the Altar of Destruction's fortification strength. I thought clearing out the Ruins Peak would uh, do something for us there. What are you up to? Well, this guy closed the gap there. These guys are creeping up over here. Ooh, are you able to hit? Did I did I miscalculate? Oh God, no, we're good. Holy crap! Oh boy, the hell is that though? Do we get hit with something? We, we look okay. Alright, how far can you get? Jeez, very far. And we get out of here? Slowing you down, maybe. These Sunderers are quite fast, but you know what? Yeah, we might be able to just sneak out up over here. Holy crap. Alright, okay, wait, but do we want to? Because there's a one stack over here. 1400 army strength. 1, 4, 6, total of 11. 
What a what an absolute joke. 906 is our strength with two stacks. Damn. All right. Okay. Okay. Can I bring you up over here? Could. 507, 543, 494. We really haven't, like, strengthened our armies enough to, 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 to be involved in this war. I, I really pulled the trigger a bit early on this, didn't I? Got these reinforcements coming through. Suppose I could send you up over here instead. That's an Inquisitor. No, we need we need more spears. We need more spears. Let's get you coming up over here. Get you coming up over here. Let's get you in there as well. Let's go. Up top over here at sunrise. Let's go ahead and recruit our daylight spear. Wherever they end up, they'll uh, provide some good support. And all right. What have we researched here? Inquisitor's zeal. Advanced enchanted units zeal, which makes base attacks deal extra spirit damage. All right, it's not bad. Plus two. It's not a lot. Damage is doubled against condemned units. That's the uh, important part, I guess. Let me take plus two and make it plus four. Like now you're now you're talking, right? Also plus ten accuracy on uh, physical ranged attacks. But I don't think we'll have time to queue this enchantment up because we're going to need our uh, burden of guilt over and over and over again. But let's pick our next research. We've got animate flora, blossom of life. Oh, that's going to be huge. Blossom of life. It shall be four turns. Unfortunately, a little slow on the uh, knowledge uptick here, but that's fine. That's fine. Now, what to do here? You can get up to there. Can I? No, I cannot. You can only get up to there. You can't reach there. Or there. If I slow you down... Well, you know what? There's only one way to find out. There's only one way to find out. Let's go ahead and pop Burden of Guilt onto you, because I know I can't dodge you. Slow you down. Alright, that frees a lot more room up here, right? Yeah. Good stuff. Now you can get up to there. You can't get up to there, though. So that's a spot we can sneak up to. You can't get there. You can't get there. You can't get there. Alright, so. Send you up to there. You can't get there either. Let's go. Losing vision over here, but I think that's fine. You can get a little bit further, and that should be fine, of course. Pull away. Pull away, and maybe up towards this outpost. Sure. Let's go for it. I wonder how far we can draw these guys out, and I wonder how close I can get with my scout before they go, hang on a second, you can see what I'm doing. Get you all the way up to here? Sure. Go for it. Keep eyes on our targets here. Now, how far can you get over here? Wow, they can actually, really, this army can reach us from all the way over there. I guess they've got roads and stuff. Am I ready to take this on? Not really, that spell jammer is still active. So we might want to pull back a little bit over here. Might want to pull back just ever so slightly. The reach on this guy, though, is kind of scary. You can get all the way up to here. All right. Pull you back up to there. Bahadur, let's get you up to here. And let's get you... I think up to here should be okay. Right? Just want to make sure we're in the clear. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Fair. Scout's down here. Keeping an eye on things. Hopefully. Geez, next turn we might need to drop a burden of guilt on somebody else to just isolate a bit better. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to pull back so I can get some support over here. If these guys... Oh, they have a nice full stack. Like, if I could just get that support, I'd be in a much better spot. Much better spot. We have a Wyvern Fledgling available to us. I could drop them into this uh, army over here, top it up, I guess. But I'm leaving some room for our lovely chaplain over here. That's the plan, at least. That's the plan. All right. Orders required for who? You guys, stay put. Stay put and stay put. Dondell, you can build something. Just short of enough money for a Daylight Spear, eh? Just short. Could attract some population, but to what end? Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and secure this farm over here. We're not worried about upsetting Alipavar anymore, so let's go ahead and secure that. Do I want to build anything, though? Nah, not really. Not really. Save up some money. Next turn, we'll be able to recruit a couple things, maybe. Sunrise. Daylight Spear in two turns. Fair enough. I mean, next turn, we'll be able to rush that Daylight Spear. Don't think that's the right call, but we could. Really not sure if this Swamp Troll was the right call. But hey, it's the call we made. It's the call we have to live with now. No more production. Spells ready to cast. That's all well and good. Right, I gotta queue one up. 
Burden of Guilt. I'm glad I checked. I am glad I checked. Burden of Guilt is coming through next turn. Otherwise, received a trade proposal. You want to share vision, but you want me to... Oh, no, you want to give me mana or gold. Oh, okay, I, I misread that at first. Um, yeah, sure, I'll take the gold. I'll give you vision. I'll take yours as well. Mana is looking all right right now. Gold, not so much. So, yeah, let's make this trade. Absolutely. Goodbye. That was a good deal. That was a very good deal. Look at this. Look at these stacks that are just up over here. What are you doing? What are you doing with all this stuff? Bring, bring these massive stacks down here where there's a huge war going on. You absolute buffoon. Looks like they cleared these guys out, though, so that's cool. I should probably expand in that direction. They have so many stacks. I, I kind of wish I didn't have vision. Look at this. Yeah, I kind of wish I didn't know this was happening. <laughs> well, now they can see what we can see, so hopefully they'll be encouraged to come down here because they know there's an opportunity, maybe. But I think that's the turn done. Let's see what the AI does over here. Let's go. God, I'm so nervous. Bangir is moving. Are you coming up, buddy? No. Really hoping. All right, we'll see. We'll see. Because if, if Fangir comes up, then these guys might get drawn down, right? And it occurs to me I didn't check the reach of this army. So they might still be able to hit us. Crap. All right, let's see how this plays out. Bowser can. Still up over here. Two six stacks. Not doing anything with them, though. Alcavir is moving. What else we got going on over here? What else we got going on? I think that's a couple of battles going down. And here comes Alipavar. Oh no, there goes our scout. It was a matter of time, right? An impossible battle. I mean, to the battlefield we go because uh, we're going to try and survive this. Chances are we won't, but we're going to try. That's terrifying. I mean, hey, they've sustained some damage, which is nice to see, but uh, this is terrifying. Eventually, we're going to have to fight that. Not today, but eventually. Hang on a second, what? Demoralized, yeah. You don't say. <laughs> you don't say, I mean, look at this. Look at this. And they're able to heal and get strengthened. Regeneration. Thank God those are all temporary hit points, otherwise we'd be in a lot of trouble. But hey, this means that uh, that 5 stack is maybe even more isolated now. I just don't think I have a chance against it. It's all about looking for the right opportunity here. Again, we're we're, we're possibly going to lose this unit, but there's a chance they'll survive. Let's see. There's a chance they'll survive. I think they're probably dead. But it was worth a shot. Hey, they made it. Good stuff. I'll take it. We've lost vision here, though. What do we got going on? Oh, how I wish I could see right now. The value of intel, man. The value of intel. So they definitely have two more stacks over here. Don't want to deal with that noise. I think we pull up and, and, and try and get another stack. Before pushing back in. Next turn we'll have our spears from there. Dondell. Jeez, man. Five turns. Five turns. Or I could rush you over here and then try and recruit another one quickly. Let's rush you. Another Daylight Spear over here. Two turns, 100 gold. Can't hurry twice in the same turn. That's fine, though. Next turn, we can, you know, rinse and repeat. Get the stack going. Bring you down to here. We got this half stack, right? And up over here. Keep baiting you up towards this outpost. Maybe we'll get these guys involved, if we're lucky. If we could be so fortunate. Are we able to come up to there? Sure. Not ideal, but you know, we don't have a third stack, so it's not the end of the world. Let's bring you up to here. Let's bring you up to here. The spell jammer is finally gone, so that's promising at least. Let's get you up to here. See if these guys keep coming. I might need a scout. I might need a scout. That vision was actually tremendously helpful. Seeing where the enemy was was tremendously helpful. I could pull further back, but what is the point there? I guess just to be in a better position. How far can we go here? Quite far. All right, let's get you up to here. Pull back a bit. Over to here. Get you over to here and get you over to here. All right. Tactical retreat, I think, is the right call. Keep trying to pull these guys up over here. Try and get these guys to help. I was really hoping they'd do a bit more, man. I was really hoping they'd do a bit more. 
Stay put for the time being. We're going to keep uh, recruiting and, and, and try going in with an additional stack. Daylight Spirit, yep, good stuff. Dondell, you're fine. Can't do anything over here right now. Liantium, you're fine as well. Not going to use money for uh, construction, even if it would eventually make us money. Don't think we have that opportunity right now. So we're good. Burden of Guilt is ready, but I can't see anybody to cast it on them. Should have done that before we left. I sincerely hope they can't reach us up over here. We'd be in a lot of trouble if so. Well, let's go ahead and queue up Army Heal. I think is the right call. Yep, go for it. And otherwise, we can go ahead and take a look at this rally. We don't have a lot of gold, but we have some. Pathfinder <laughs> just acquired a scout through a rally. Got some range units we could get, some Furies. We got some War Shaman, all from Kill Val. We got some Raghash troops as well. I don't see the value except for the fact that they'll come through relatively quickly. We can only get so many units. Let's get the War Shaman, Mending Touch, Poison Blast, Invigorate. That sounds good. This one, similarly built. Sounds good. The Fury over here shoots bow. Again, can shoot them multiple times. Warrior tier one. Let's get let's get a fury, and I guess that'll be it. It'll take two turns for them to get here, but uh, it's a lot faster than individually recruiting units, right? Sure, let's go for it. Bring them in. Two turns to the throne city, and then we should be ready to push again. Hopefully, end the turn. See what the AI does. See what the AI does here. Ooh, hello. So there is some movement going on. There is some movement going on. Maybe this will work out. I can still see that there's something over here. And it looks like they've moved over. So they're chasing after us now, I think. The Altar of Destruction, by the way, still has its fortification strength, which I don't like. You're staying up over there. Alright. Let's get you pulling down cautiously. Make your way over. Keep trying to stretch these guys apart, basically, you know? How far do we think they can get? Can they get to us? Well, first of all, let's go ahead and rush you out. Bring you down here. Five stack. Good stuff. We could make it a six with our wyvern. Pop that in there. Good stuff. Four full stacks. Feels good. Feels better. I'm almost tempted to go diving in, but it's like, we know they're significantly more powerful than us. These two spears could go a long way. If I replace the wyverns with a couple of spears, that might be the right call here. Like, yeah, if we get rid of this wyvern and this wyvern, and pop in those spears instead, we might be in a better position. Alright, that's the next move, I think. So, for the time being, let's go ahead and pull you guys up. Again, try and draw these guys over here as much as possible, and hopefully they send like a small contingent over here for us to deal with. But, you know, when I say small contingent, I also mean one that isn't a thousand points all on its own. A single stack with over 1,100 points of, uh, of of strength to it. There's our Daylight Spear. Not enough money to do another one. Sunrise, you're good. Army Heal is ready. Cool. Can I get something else queued up? Another Wyvern Fledgling, perhaps? What else are we doing with our mana right now? Go for it. And just sit on that, right? We're fine. We don't need army heal or anything right now. Alipavar has returned to the Altar of Destruction. Really unfortunate. And other rulers have forged an alliance. Fangir and the Grove Tender. Good to know. Good to know. Fangir looks like uh, he's making some moves down over here. So that's promising. I wish I had a scout. I wonder if I get one after the Swamp Troll comes through. I wonder. Might be the right call. But let's go ahead and end the turn here. See what the uh, AI gets up to. Really hoping they'd get involved down here, man. Come on. They were better off uh, fighting the war on their own. The moment we got involved, it's like they're like, all right, switch turns off. The player can deal with it. Leave it up to Bahadur. He's got this. And I can assure you, he has not got this. He has bitten off more than he could chew. And he's doubling down with every passing turn. I don't think we can get peace with Alipavar. I'd be shocked if we could push for peace over here. Oh, Jesus, here we go. Are you kidding me? Three full stacks and then some? And what do we have here? Crowing competition. 
To celebrate your brotherhood, Gasha Socket Stabber of Kilval has invited you to a competition, one less bloody than the usual type. A rowdy crowd has gathered in the Great Hall of Kilval. Several ashen faces stand on tables and chairs, waving tankards while yelling battle cries and thumping on wooden furniture. The crowd cheers. A fury shows her scars and loudly boasts about her latest adventure. We boast about our feats and achievements, Chieftess Gasha Socket Stabber shouts over the noise. Won't you join in? I could boast about my vast empire and its people. I could boast about my martial feats and impressive armies. I could boast about the lucrative trade in my empire. That's nice, actually. And it kind of ties into some of the events from earlier, too, right? Some of the ones we saw a handful of sessions ago. Or I guess I could never compete with the great braggarts of Kilval. No. I could always compete. Take a look at our lucrative trade. Absolutely. Get that extra money. All right. There's our... Uh, Freshly recruited stack, but what do we, what are we to do here? 906, 1324, and 940. Am I going to keep retreating? We got 494, 507, 585, 43. Christ. All right. All right, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. We can go ahead and get our... Spears out. I'm trying to figure out if I'm better off fighting in home, ter like home turf or not. Like let them come to us. Sunrise, you got anything for that? Rarely do I find myself in a position like this in this game, but here we are. All right, you know what? It's time to go. Let's get our fledgling removed from there. I think. Yeah, sure. Um, remove the fledgling and the inferno puppy. Pull you back. We'll get our two daylight spears from here into there. So you guys are now 641, 494, and 507. We got this fledgling over here, which we could replace with a sun priest, perhaps. Right? Probably the right call. I doubled down too hard on fledglings. <laughs> I got too many of them now. Let's get this fledgling up over here. Let's get... I think the Sun Priest is the right call. Yeah, let's get the Sun Priest in there. And these three can go in now. We're taking a huge risk, but I think it's one we have to take. Could I get back there to pick these guys off? No, we could not. And if I could just keep drawing them out, right? If I could just isolate that one stack that's a little bit smaller, I'd be better off. Jeez, I might I might try it. I might just try it. Alright, you can get how far? Up to there? If I get behind the quarry, we'll be okay. Looks like it. Alright, so Bahadur. Get you behind the quarry. Let's get this stack up over to here. Get this stack up over to here. Now let's get you... Let's get you where? I want to make sure I'm not cacking this up. Let's get you back to like here or something. Because then we might be able to flank that individual unit and draw in a weaker stack from the enemy. Pull you down to here. You guys can come down over here as well. And we'll see if our strategic movement over here is actually going to pay off. Up over here, meanwhile. Let's go ahead and creep. And keep moving here as well. How are we looking? A little nervous, I'm not going to lie, that we might uh, stumble across an enemy army. But I'm hoping to draw somebody back. Just trying to rip those guys apart. Alright. You guys are good. You guys are good. You guys are good, I believe. Yeah, unless the hidden stack back there can move a lot more quickly than, I, uh, than any of these guys. We have some gold with which to recruit another Daylight Spear. Am I doubling down too hard on the Daylight Spear now? I don't know. The Inquisitor's not bad either. Melee strike. Again, it can hit multiple times. And condemn the enemy. Not bad. Not bad. Three turns, though. Daylight Spear. I gotta be very cognizant of time as an important resource here. No other production anywhere else. Ruined province can be rebuilt up over here. Uh, we'll hold off on that. I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a rush. And our wyvern fledglings are ready to come through. Again, maybe it's time to stop bringing them, especially if we're going to go to war against these major factions, right? 
Ignore that for the time being. Spell's ready to launch. Oh, I, yeah, right. I guess I could slow these guys down a little bit. I could slow these guys down a little bit. You know what? I wonder what happens. Burden of guilt. Down on you. Now that I can see you and your domain does not have a spell jammer. You can't move nearly as far. Let's see how they play this. Let's get another burden of guilt for ourselves, though. Cue that up and hit the end turn button. The caution here is... Uh, warranted, I would say. We're trying to buy time. We've got uh, some movement down over here. I, I have to believe that Fang Gear is getting some work done and will eventually draw our friend's attention. At the same time, we're coming in from two sides, right? This uh, bit of a pincer maneuver, trying to tear these guys apart. I've got a few things in motion here. It's the strategic part of a game that has both strategic and tactical aspects to it. I'm really hoping this pays off, though. Really hoping this pays off, because uh, I swear to God it's giving me a mic rate. <laughs> we were not ready for this war, and now they're pulling back. But will they leave one of their weaker stacks exposed? Well, we can push. It's this constant push and pull. They move as a unit, because of course they do. Now you're coming through as well. Do you see, like, blood in the water? How far can you get? Look at that. They can get really far, man. That's terrifying. That is terrifying. All right, let's pull up a little bit. Constant dance of ours. And you're just a stack of four. I creep up to there. We can get down to there, I suppose. That'll probably be the furthest I can get. We can get up to here. Wouldn't be surprised if that works out okay for us. Let's get, to get down to here first. Just wondering if I could see anything. Nope. All right, up to here. Let's get you over to here. Let's get you over to here. Fair enough. These guys are going to move out. Down this way, I suppose. Kind of moving in like tandem, perpendicular to everything else. These three, you're fine staying over there. Waiting for maybe some more recruits to come through to strengthen this army up. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. These guys have uh, drawn the ire of these stacks. Or at least their eye. I wonder if I can pull them a bit further out. How far can you get? All the way up to here. So that means these guys must be able to reach us. They must be able to reach us. Let's go ahead and pull you down to this underground passage. Then we could pop up over here and reinforce from this side. But then we reduce our chance of, you know, ripping these guys apart. Where's your six stack over here? Where are you taking them? God damn. All right. Let's pull down to here. Just to get vision on the city, I think. No luck. Let's go. And let's send you over to here, sure. See how this plays out for us. Getting a lot of fledglings over here. I could maybe send this stack over and do a bit of swapping around, or maybe send these guys over. What the was that? Maybe send these guys over, right? Be in a better position. Sure, you know what, actually? Let's bring you down to here. Let's try and sneak some troops over to, to reinforce over here because we're in a bit of trouble on that side. We need a third stack over here, right? We have a couple that could serve. Swap some of these units in, perhaps. All right, good stuff. Orders required up over here. Stay put. Stay alive. That That's the order. Survive. You also survive. Blossom of Life has been researched. Feeling a lot better about going into combat now. So there's that, at least. And Dormant Enchantment. We got nine support units in our army. Sure. Support units would get Radiant Light. That means base magic attacks have a 60% chance of inflicting Distracted. And that can be quite valuable, as we've seen previously, right? In the last session, I believe it was. So Dormant Enchantment is next. Let's see if we get the opportunity to actually use it, though. These guys are all queued up. Don't need anything else from here just quite yet. Again, I could slow Buddy down. You know what? Sure. Burden of Guilt. Pop it on you. Slow you down. Does he fall behind, or do they just all start to slow down, right? And I don't want to move too far forward, because these guys are right there as well, so they might be able to turn around and hit us. That's why I'm playing it carefully over here still. Uh, but let's go ahead and cue another Burden of Guilt. God, that's been pretty handy. No production anywhere, except for up at sunrise. This Daylight Spear could be rushed. One turn away. Down over here. There's our scout. Our lovely little scout. Let's pull you over to here, so you're actually healing up. Oh, we can't move right now. Fair enough. Uh, in that case, let's uh, 
wait for the swamp troll over here and you know what up over here at Dondell, just so we're recruiting multiple at a time let's get ourselves a daylight spear over here as well get some work done Accumulate some wealth get some more units out try and make some moves i mean sunrise if we upgrade you we could get the awakener spirit bolts and exposing light not bad expensive though 280 Jeez, 280. Rather than waiting the five turns over here for this recruit, you know what? Sure. We'll have to wait one more turn still, but uh, let's let's get to work on it. Let's get some higher tier units out, because otherwise we're going to fall behind permanently. Ruined province can be rebuilt. Thank you. Dondell can annex another province. Who? Where? What? And why? Move up in this direction? Sure. Let's secure this quarry, or perhaps this quarry. How many steps away are we? Ah, sure. This one. So we can get there a little bit faster. We might need to upgrade the settlement first, but I would like to secure this for myself. Alright, spell's ready to launch. We're okay. Thank you. Alapavar has withdrawn to the Astral Void. Where at? What happened here? How did that happen? Who, wh who did you fight? Right? Anyway, Free City can be integrated. Not planning on doing that, but Kilval is a flourishing vassal. If we were to trade with you, we could get some mana. Not interested right now. Separately, I was complimented for our diplomatic approach. Very well. Back up top over here. Go ahead and uh, hide all that. Hit the end turn button. See what these guys get up to. But yeah, what took out Alipavar? What's happening in there? What the hell is happening in there? Because I saw him. He was right there. There weren't any enemies that would have killed him. As far as I could tell. And yet, like, were there some units up there in the fog of war that we couldn't see? Possibly. Possibly. What are you going to do now? And what's happening down over here? Fangir is up at this mob camp now. I'm assuming it's Fangir. It could be somebody else, but I feel like it's a safe assumption to say it's Fangir. These guys are moving through, and we've lost vision. This is where things get particularly scary. This is where things get particularly scary. Now, our scout over here is stacked in with the uh, Swamp Troll. That's not my plan. Can I please select you? This is still friendly territory, right? It belongs to Raghash? Yeah. So let's go ahead and pull as far as we can pull. Stay in... Fresh territory. Non-Ashland territory. Sure, have an escort. Actually, you know what? You can move a lot faster on your own, can't you? Well, a little bit faster. Faster enough. Yeah, let's get you out. And the Swamp Troll will probably join these guys. Let's go ahead and move this three stack. Jeez. Am I willing to risk this three stack? Kind of one of them alive. Send one of you out. Or, here, let's send one of our fledglings out. Go, my dear, and scout for me. Alright. Got a three stack and three six stacks. You're able to hit us. Yes, you are. All of them are able to hit us right now. But again, if I slow one of them down, what happens? And where is that, where is that one stack that we did hit with the Burden of Guilt? Where did they go? Did they join up with somebody else? Looks like it. Alright. How far back can you go? All the way up to the Ruins Peak. If I stay behind Ruins Peak, we should be okay. Yep. Bahadur, bring you down to here. Get you over to here. Get you over to here. 482, 1198, 1161. We're doing some damage. Slowly but surely, damage is being done over here. Damage is being done over here. They've lost one of their... Uh... No, here he is. They've just spread out, I guess. Alright, who do we slow down? Or do we try to, like, finish some troops off using the Burden of Guilt on these guys? Let's go ahead and drop it. Right on to you, buddy. Getting rid of that spell jammer was key. Absolutely clutch over here. Get another Burden of Guilt going. Again, we're, we're making enough mana to just keep doing this over and over. Army heal could come in handy down over here. A little bit of damage on these guys, but I kind of want to keep it queued up for a bigger situation, let's call it. You're slowed down. Fledgling's in a bit of trouble, but that's fine. I think it's a worthwhile sacrifice. We just need to step out a little bit. Just like need to do that, and we're fine. Nope, you can still reach us. Bad I checked. Oh, I see. We were blocking them previously. All right, let's pull over to here. There we go. You can't reach us. You can't reach us. You cannot reach us, and neither can you. All right, beauty. I think I want to keep these guys moving together still. Right. That's a good spot. That's a great spot. 
Just trying to get some reinforcements over to them. Let's send this stack down this way. Let's get you building some roads while you do it. This so we can move a bit more quickly down the line, right? Can you get down here, though? Yes, you can. That would have been bad. They would have probably hunted us down there. So let's stay away from that spot. Over to there. Yeah. Over to here. Let's go. Get the road built. And we're fine. We're going to stay put there. These guys are going to come through as well. Trying to get them over, right? And that should be this turn, pretty much. Orders required up over here. These guys are just staying put. Waiting for the opportunity to, like, rip these guys apart. Isolate one of their stacks or something. Sunrise got the Daylight Spear. All right. Get you coming down this way. Let's go. Otherwise, let's go ahead and recruit an additional one. Or we could get an Inquisitor at this point in time. Two turns. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. Time to invest a bit in a Tier 3 unit. And uh, also, next turn, I think, we can go for the uh, Town Hall. We're just short right now. But next turn, we can go ahead and do that. Cool. Orders for you. You're staying put. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yours offer to join. I'm good right now. Spells ready to launch. I'm good. Received a trade proposal. What do you got? Share vision with the Radiant. That sounds good to me. Yeah, it's a deal. Can you come over this way afterwards, though? Please? I would appreciate that greatly, because uh, your other friend isn't doing that at all. And I feel like it's their responsibility to deal with Alipavar alongside the Grove Tender. The Grove Tender isn't doing anything either, as far as I can tell. So, uh, it's a uh, real something. Meanwhile, over here, you want a declaration of friendship between me and Sumaskira? Look, I'm fine. I don't need to spend money on that. I'm in the middle of a war. I know you can't tell because uh, you're busy doing whatever in your ivory tower, but I'm actually fighting here. These guys asking us to invest in conversations, declarations of friendship. Can't you see this money is going into a war effort right now? But hey, the longer this war extends, the stronger we're getting. Um, the more units we're recruiting. The more units the uh, enemy's recruiting as well, for sure. But uh, us too. And three stacks can only engage at a time, right? So hopefully, it's a game of numbers here. And hopefully we come out on top with the bigger numbers. Oh boy, here we go. Why are you moving here so confidently? I never like it when the AI moves confidently. What do you got up your sleeve? What have you got up your sleeve? Hopefully nothing. Did I make a miscalculation? Oh man, did I make a miscalculation here? Look at that, just everything. Ah, they got more units coming through. But, that's a weak stack back there. Five and three, two, three. Oh, hello. That was an interesting move there at the end. Why would they do that? Now they've got two half stacks as opposed to three full stacks. Still a high-risk battle. I mean, maybe that's why they do it, because they don't actually give a damn. Because they're so strong. Because they're just so strong. I send you up there. 1591 versus 2379. Bit of mixing and matching, perhaps, could uh, do the trick over here. Might actually have to make a stand over here now. All right, hang on. These guys, you're able to move in. What does the Ritual Pyre do for them? Gives them mana. Yeah. I'm like, do I want to burn this down? Two turns, we might get shut down, actually. Mob camp has been turned into ruins. Is Fangir still coming up over here? Again, I assume it's him. I think it's a safe assumption to make. What do we do over here? We can actually kick this battle off as well. That's an impossible battle. Yeah, no surprise. 366... 2517 versus 2279. So we're better off engaging up over here. What about back over here? 2578. But again, we have to have enough numbers to sustain a follow-up battle. That's the that's the thing. That's the big thing here. All right, what about our magic, our burden of guilt? What can we do with you right now? Soften these guys up a bit more. Thing is, right at the beginning of the next... Uh, right at the beginning of the battle, they'll be able to heal up a little bit. That's the real bummer. If I soften you up... Or do I continue to soften you up? You won't get dragged in, though. That's the unfortunate thing. So we've got to focus on somebody else. One of the more full armies is the right call, I would imagine. Let's hit you. Sure. Burden of guilt. Down on you. Bit of damage there. I'll take it. Got plenty of mana for the battle itself. Get another burden of guilt going. And uh, I think we're going to dive in here. 
Just gotta make sure I make the right moves. Just gotta make sure I make the right moves. You're 380, you're 292. Get rid of the fledglings. We should be better off. So let's get the fledglings away. Let's just... Actually, you know what? Here, let's do it the other way around. Let's move you three, or actually you two. How far can you get? You can get down to here too. Okay. All right. I think we've got a plan. We're going to get these two up to here. We're going to get these three up to here. And we're going to get this guy down to here. And we're just going to pray that that's enough. High risk battle. These 1806. It's a bit better than what we had before. So there's that. Bahadur wouldn't come into this one though. Really? I guess because Bahadur has a bunch of fledglings. That's why. Alright, can I swap things out over here? Can I swap things out over here? Because I, I want Bahadur in there. Get rid of one, two, three... Four, get rid of these four. Keep that fledgling in there. Then we can get these four into the uh, the stack. Sure. Pull you out to here. And you in there. That should be good. Lots of spears. We got some fledglings. We have some chaplains. More spears. Bit of range. More chaplains. More range. Sure. Let's get the Inquisitor in here as well, though. Let's replace one of our chaplains with the Inquisitor, I think. We need a bit more melee. Pull you back. Get you in here. There's our six stack. Get you up there. And there's our other six stack. Our weakest six stack. But that feels alright. 1897, including Bahadur versus 2307. Risky battle, but I think it's one we have to fight. I think it's one we have to fight. Yep. I'm curious how the AI would do, so I'm just going to auto-resolve to see, because I'm so immensely curious with this run. I want to see what the AI would do, but then we're going to dive in ourselves to fight it. Again, we've done this a couple times before, don't care what the end result is going to be, even if the AI wins, we're going to fight it manually. I just want to know if the AI could pull it off. There's plenty of mana, right? Plenty of casting available to us, but it would be a defeat. A complete, utter defeat. Wow, alright. That's ominous. To the battlefield we go. I'm extremely nervous about this one. I'm extremely nervous about this one. This is going to be a long fight. This is going to be a tremendously long fight, folks. Jeez. And here they go with the healing already. Yeah, no surprise there. And they get the strengthened and the regen. And up over there, same thing. Again, if we can delay things three turns before the fighting actually starts, we might have an opportunity, but I don't know. I don't know if that's an option. I want them to rush me. Look at the retaliation counts. Jeez. This is going to be rough. This is going to be rough, and this is going to be a long fight, folks. And you know what? We're kind of close to that hour mark. If this fight lasts about 30 minutes or so, we'll be well past it. And uh, I like a good cliffhanger from time to time. So how about we call it here, and we'll see how this battle plays out next time. I hope it don't mind. Again, I like a bit of suspense from time to time. I try not to do it too often, but every once in a while, feels cool. Feels good. A little, uh, little bit of drama. A little bit of spice. Hopefully, a little bit of something nice. Folks, if you had a good time, please don't hesitate to let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. Bit of a more cautious episode, this one, but we are, you know, trying to overcome a significantly more powerful faction here. Significantly more powerful. Hopefully... We've set things up right here. Hopefully our dancing back and forth has, uh, has proven valuable. And hopefully we'll actually come out on top this battle. Which would then leave Alipavar open for complete annihilation. This battle is clutch. Folks, as always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. They'll keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.